So to operate a Juca Cryosauna, you want to start out by opening a nitrogen tank. And in this handout here that the technician gave you, you should check first. It's, it's, it walks you through the checkpoints here. You should check the pressure first. It should be around 50 PSI unless you are instructed otherwise. You can lower the pressure with the vent valve or you can increase the pressure with the pressure builder. Um, so you want to open up the nitrogen tank first and then you power on the cryosauna right here on the side. The red button has to be out. If it's pushed in, there's no power. So make sure it's out and boot up the machine like this. Clients should be dressed like the lovely Leslie here. So you should have slippers, socks, gloves, a robe, and then underwear optional for women. For men, underwear is required. Uh, there should be no jewelry. All this is also on this sign that should be affixed to the machine. So you need to have dry skin, no underwear, slippers, socks, gloves. Um, there's contraindications that you were given in a handout as well. Um, Three of the basic ones are here, no pregnancy, Raynaud's disease, which is a vascular disorder, and no heart conditions, but there's a number more, so please take a look at the um, waiver. So the first screen in the cryosauna gives you an option here to choose the language. Just press the freezing button. When it asks you, do you want to start freezing? Say yes. The pre-cooling can take up to six minutes. This machine was already kind of cold, so it's going to be faster. And the golden rule is really that you can't let anybody into the cryosauna until the arrows here turn green. Green arrows mean you can operate the lift and that means it's ready for treatment. Um, the pre-cooling stops at about 110 minus. And again, that's when the machine is going to make a ringing sound and the elevator should turn green. It is important that you get the client in immediately. So you do this whole thing very fast. So people should be ready and dressed for the treatment. Again, I'm still waiting here for the arrows to turn green. Once green, I can let the client in. Uh, default temperature and time. Uh, temperature minus 140, treatment time two minutes. You can go as low as 130 and as high as three, but two is the standard. Again, the arrows are green, so you open the door for the client and have her step inside. Close the door immediately and press the elevator up button until you see her face up on top. You ask her to take her robe off, which you will hold on to, and then here you press the start button. So this is the button I use to raise her up by holding it. You can go up and down. And uh, so throughout the treatment, uh, the cycle time is down here, so you know how long she's been in there. So right now she has about a minute and 45 seconds to go. You want to stay level with the customer, so or the client. So get a step stool so you can be eye level. She's right now positioned in there. She basically is breathing room air. You always want to be breathing above the cloud of nitrogen. Uh, right behind her, that white nipple you see up there, that's an oxygen sensor. So you know if her nose is roughly at that level, she's breathing room air. Um, instruct your client to turn every 30 seconds a quarter turn. Should she be extremely uncomfortable, which happens sometimes to first-time users, you can ask the client to raise their hands above their head. You could do that, please, Leslie. Raise your hands up, please, Leslie. So if you do this, you feel less cold because the cold sensors on your arms are not stimulated. So it's actually more pleasant for her right now. But again, we want to stimulate the whole body, so please put your arms back in. And she's been rotating here. Um, treatment time so far has been a minute and... 15 seconds there, so 45 seconds to go to two minutes. So what I usually do is while she's in there, you know, you want to turn the rope right side out so it's ready to go and kind of just hold on to it again. Stay eye level, don't keep your eyes, take your eyes off the client. 30 seconds to go. Would you like to go longer or is that it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And so again, keep your eye on the client. See here, temperature. She has 15 seconds to go. So when the cycle time is at 1.55, so five seconds before she's done, I'm gonna hand her the rope over the edge. She can get dressed again. And then the lift will automatically go down at the end of the treatment. Just crack the door open a little bit. And then she can exit as soon as she's ready. If the next person is ready to go, 
he or she can enter right now because the lift turns green again. If nobody's going in, and you'll see how fast it's warming up in there, minus 115, minus 111. So unless the next person is ready to jump in right away, um, you want to press the stop button. If somebody was ready, I could lift them up again here and press start. But again, I don't have anybody waiting here. So what I'll do is I'll press the stop button. And now I have the option to let it sit for the next person. If I wanted to use it again, I hit the start again for the next freeze out. The freeze out again uh, will go until the internal temperature here gets to about 110 and the elevator turns green. You have to wait for that before letting somebody else in. In this case right now I'm done. I'm only doing one client, so I'm gonna just leave it off, press the stop button. Um, you wanna now first turn off your nitrogen tank on the valve on the tank. And again, the valves on the tanks, they look kind of like this. This is where you turn on and off the nitrogen. And if you did all that, you wanna hit the drying. You press the exit button, hit drying, turn off the lights and you can walk away. And the cryosauna will turn itself off after about three hours and that is it and you can use it again the next day it'll stay on standby until you turn it off but it takes almost no power so that's perfectly fine to be sitting on standby and that is all